Brandon Applehands with UCCS Athletics here with Jeff Culver, head coach of the men's basketball team. Coach, last time we talked, MSU Denver got the loss 66-69. Though Dalton Patton, 15 points, a big dunk. What's his role like this year? Well, I think, quite frankly, Dalton's probably been our most consistent player uh, through the season. And we've certainly had some ups and downs um, throughout our season thus far with some of our younger guys and even some of our returners. But I think Dalton has stood out with being consistent. And if he can keep that up and and then on top of being consistent, you know, grow each and, each and every game, I think with that you'll see his confidence level raise. Got to keep him healthy. That was a big thing last year for him. He wasn't really healthy till the end of the year. But if we can keep him healthy and keep getting his, building his confidence, I think we'll see good things ahead. And in that same match, Blend Avdili taking off redshirt like we talked, 12 points, a little over 20 minutes. Is he essentially a sleeper this year? A lot of teams obviously just playing some RMAC teams. Is he a sleeper, though, and being on the roster now? Yeah, I mean, I don't know that he's a sleeper moving forward. I mean, people have film on him yeah. now. They know he can make shots. They know he works hard and can can impact the game in a lot of different ways. So, uh, definitely was a sleeper coming into this thing. Uh, was under recruited and and overlooked. I think part of that was sort of what we call a tweener. You know, sort of uh, lacks a true position. Uh, but what he is and and what he does have is that he's just a good basketball player. You know, uh, with a great work ethic. And this weekend, travel to Colorado Mesa University. You play them twice this year. Haven't been doing that in a while. What's it going to be like getting Colorado Mesa twice this year? First at their place. Yeah, well, we've had them only once in the regular season the last couple years, although I guess we had them twice because we played them in the playoffs, too. Um, it's a good team, you know. Uh, not pleased with having to play them and, and uh, Ryan Steffen twice in a year, and we'll probably see them again in the playoffs, too. So I kind of liked it when we just played them once. But it's a tough place to play. It's a tough road trip now that they're partnered with Salt Lake City, too. Uh, um, so, but we've been on the road this year, and, and we know what that's like, and, and hopefully we can learn from some of those experiences from this season and uh, come out on top. And last year, dating it back, 14-15 season, CMU did break that 14-match win streak for the Mountain Lions last year. Without a doubt, it still stings, but how much does the team remember that and really fuel the fire? Well, yeah, that was a tough game, and we, we just couldn't stop them. I mean, they, just, you know, Ryan had, I don't know, it felt like 60, maybe it was 40-something, but uh, we couldn't stop him or their three-point shooters. Um, you know, we were able to redeem that loss in the playoffs, and that helped a little bit to get over that, but we know how talented they are. They got a lot of new guys this year, uh, but the big man's still holding it down for them. Um, you know, solid point guard play, really good shooters, uh, some good athletes, and well coached. And, and they play a very active motion. So we know we're going to be challenged on the defensive end, and we're really going to have to be on our A game. And the partner with CMU this year, Westminster College, a new team in the RMAC. What's it going to be like going there and playing them for the first time? It's going to be tough. That's a tough place to play. Always has been. They've been a dominant force at the NEI Division One level. Been a great program for a number of years. Uh, new coach, a lot of new players. But you know what we've seen on film is the fact that they have not lost, and uh, they just beat Mesa uh, there. So no matter what, going to Salt Lake City and playing those guys is going to be tough. And, and this year is no different. And last question. For you. Coach, what's really the team model this year? Take one game at a time. I know you got a big road match coming up. What's really the model this year? One day at a time, one game at a time. I mean, that's what it's always been for us, and it continues to be. But especially with our squad this year, we're just trying to get better every day. I thought we've had a good week of practice thus far. We're ready to hit on the hit the road. Certainly after that Metro game, we wish we could have played the next day. So our guys are hungry. We're excited to get back at it, and uh, we'll hop on the bus today and hopefully be ready tomorrow. There you have it. Doubleheader coming up. Thank you, Jeff Culver. Thank you.